Get Lazy is a really good, I really like this one. It's a prompt to software generator, full stack software. They have so many integrations as well. Dolly, Slackbot, WhatsApp, Discord, Twilio. I wanted to see if we could make um, a YouTube to MP3 kind of app. Make a YouTube to MP3 app. Well, that was so fast. In less than three minutes, we've got a application that can do YouTube to MP3. Let's see if it works. Currently the URL is hard coded, but we need a way to accept URL from the user. Can you provide details of how the URL input should be handled? All right, let's just try the hard coded version. Looks like it got an error. Okay, we could just have, have an input text field and a submit button to take URL. We got a YouTube to MP3 converter. Let's try a YouTube video. Uh, okay, let's try just this random video that was on my homepage. We can convert it to MP3. Successfully downloaded. Okay, I guess it downloaded on their own on the server where it's running, which I'm not sure, I don't think we have access to. So I think we can say, let the user download it on the machine through the client. The MP3 on their machine through the client. Okay, let's see if we can do that. It's deploying again to the cloud. There we go, we actually got the front end this time. Let's try that same video. All right, oh, oh, it worked. A couple of weeks ago, I was in London, I caught up with Petr Velichkovich from crap. DeepMind. We got a YouTube to MP3 converter in less than 10, when did we start? 35, now it's 42, in seven minutes. Easy completion, that was so good, amazing. This is another prompt to app AI. Seems really easy to use. Idea to software 10 times faster. Now they have a Discord where other people have shared their creations they've made. I think you can even use their app in Discord. People are like slash imagine simple snake games and there's a look what I built section. So let's see what people have built. A component builder, a web page that allows users to render UI components and display them, show their code as well. Um, ask me to generate a UI component. Wow, so they've made their own prompt to UI using a prompt to app software. That's so cool. So let's say weather forecast component. This one's kind of tricky, but We've had success with it before with some other tools. Let's see if this tool can create it. Oh, there we go. It created the weather component. It had a trouble with the icons, but that's still pretty cool. You can see the code, HTML, CSS code. Very cool. Let's make a loading bar. Wait, is this feedback or is it gonna generate it from scratch? Let's see. Oh, there, that's pretty cool. So I said, make a loading bar. And here we have a really nice loading bar showing 70%. Okay, let's see what else people have made. Uh, image to video creator. Using stability AI and the power of lazy AI, you can take your image to the next level. Oh, and they have like a little landing page. And you can start with their template. That's so sick. So you can like build off other people's creations. That's sick. So they create a whole video from an image. That's pretty sick. Flashcard generator. So enter a topic. Brock, thanks for the follow. Let's say coding. Let's see what flashcards it can generate with coding. So this is sick. It seems like it's really easy to make um, web apps that use AI using Get Lazy. Um, wow, look at that. We've generated 15 flashcards and we can select certain flashcards and print them. Maybe. While that's doing that, we can look at the other things that people have made with Get Lazy. Emoji translator. Let's see this. Let's type an emoji. Let's see if it can do finger into finger into the perfect. You reckon it knows this? It's thinking. So someone's built this emoji translator using Get Lazy. So they didn't write any code themselves. They just kept prompting it. The sequence of perfect finger can be interpreted as a playful of cheeky ways, say perfect insertion, or this is spot on. The perfect or okay emoji and the point emoji points to a specific thing. Without additional context, the precise meaning can vary. If we consider homophones or high order relations, it might imply a perfect match. Code Roast Bot, a playful program to promote good coding habits. That's cool. Funny tweet generator. I stop coding and just press buttons now. Let's make a funny tweet out of that. Just switch from coding to a new high-tech innovative career path. Can we professional button pusher? <laughs> Should I tweet that? I'm gonna tweet it. Professional button pusher and shit talker. This guy made a free unlimited dolly free. 
This one won the prize. They do like um, Builder of the Week and they went for the... So yeah, you can say anything you want. So a uh, tech streamer that has massive headphones. And then yeah, without having to pay anything, you can create a Dali image. <laughs> That's pretty good.